was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever Hey guys, welcome to Son of the Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we're making a Neapolitan pizza. So the other day I was craving ricotta for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. I thought I would make a very simple Neapolitan pizza. Typically with Neapolitan pizzas, you want to use as few ingredients as possible because it is such a delicate pizza. So I sauteed some garlic uh, right on the stove in a saute pan. Super easy, some salt, pepper, uh, oil, and then after it cooled down for a little bit, I squeezed some water out because I didn't want the water to end up on the pizza. So, so that was that. And then I, I roasted a whole head of garlic. Uh, you just cut off the top, drizzle some oil on top of it, uh, wrap it in aluminum foil, and throw it in the oven. I think I put it in the oven uh, at 400 for about 30 to 40 minutes. And then when you take it out, uh, you can just squeeze it out and uh, it is delicious. If you haven't had roasted garlic, definitely try it. All right, so let's open up this dough. So the first ingredient is pizza sauce. This is the muti. Uh, this is the garlic and oregano version. Very good. The next thing I'm going to put on are these roasted garlic cloves. Next up is some uh, fresh mozzarella balls. And then my favorite ingredient, ricotta cheese. And lastly, for some color, we're going to add some sauteed spinach. So I'm gonna throw this into the breville and it should only take about two to three minutes to cook. I'm very excited about this. While we wait for the pizza to cook, I just want to thank you if you subscribe. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, all you need to do is press that little subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. All right, so it just beeped, so I'm gonna check it real quick. I'm gonna leave it in there for another probably minute. Dial the temperature down. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn this guy off. Yes. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Oh, damn it. So one thing I've learned about this Breville is that if you don't clean the pizza stone like really well, it will smoke up. Um, and I thought I had cleaned it well, but there must have been some kind of leftover gunk on it. So um, it is smoking up the apartment. So, so the lesson is clean up after yourself. <laughs> so I am very pleased with this. Um, this looks super tasty. Before I taste it, the one thing I do want to say is that I used the same dough recipe that I used last time, which is the Breville Neapolitan dough recipe. And I feel like the first time it came out a lot better. This time, the dough is not super like, I don't know. There's something about it that was like very flat and not very airy. So I might need to try a different Neapolitan dough recipe, so. But it looks, it still looks good as a pizza. So let me just, uh, let's just try this. Let's see how it goes. That's awesome. The combination of the ricotta and mozzarella cheeses with the garlic and then the spinach adds like a, like a green to it. Uh, it is super tasty. I highly recommend you try this flavor combo. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. 
right here and uh, like up this video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever.